Hi everybody, Niklas Seidloff here. In my last video I described how you can add entries to the activity stream in IBM Connections from X Pages using the so-called X Pages Social Enabler, which is part of the X Pages Extension Library project on OpenNTF. Today I want to use the same scenario, but then describe how you can implement it using the new IBM Social Business Toolkit SDK. So um, here's a quick demo. Now let's say I want to add this uh, my own block entry here to the um, news aggregator collaboration today. So I can copy and paste this link. Then I say capture. Can also copy here the title, and I will also copy here the, um, the first sentence, which I um, want to use as the abstract of the title. Then I can pick myself here as an author. Um, I keep the default category or type X pages. And once I'm done, I say approve. And when I go to the home page, I see the new entry showing up here in the right column. And also on the recent page, you see the abstract. So <coughs> the other thing um, that happened now in the back end was that I added an entry um, to my X Pages community, um, community's activity stream, notifying um, the members of this community that I added an entry on collaboration today. So when I um, do a refresh here of this page and then I open or then this new entry shows up right here and I can click it uh, and that brings up my X page in the embedded experience. So that's the um, sampling um, scenario. Now what I want to do is restart the server so that you can actually see how the OAuth dance happens the very first time. Okay, so I've restarted my Domino server and I want to now demonstrate the user experience the first time you access IBM Connections from your XPages application. The advantage of the Social SDK compared to the XPages Social Enabler is that it supports OAuth 2, which is the version that IBM Connections 4 uses. So I've um, added here another um, news entry and now when I say approve, you can actually see that I get redirected here to my connection server. Now, um, in the first step, usually I would have to log in, but I'm already logged in as Frank Adams, my test user, and I've installed single sign-on, so that's why you didn't see the login um, page. But now, in the second step, I need to grant here access to my um, XPages application so that the XPages application can access IBM connections on behalf of the current user. And once I've done that, so I say grant, I get redirected. The implementation of this sample is very easy. The first thing you need to do is to define here the dependency to com IBM XSP SBT SDK dot library. And then you can define your endpoint bean in the faces config file. And this is how you would do it if you want to use OAuth 2. So this is the OAuth 2 endpoint, and in here you put the, the URL, the base URL, as well as the consumer key and secret. And once you have done that, you can use the simple APIs, like for example here the activity stream service, and here is where you um, post an entry, and just by calling the method post entry, you pass in the community ID, as well as um, the additional information here in the JSON format. And that's it. And um, with that, you can really, in a um, similar way, you can access all these other Java APIs. Um, so there's Javadoc that comes with the SDK. And here are a couple of examples. There is an activity stream service, community service, file service, profile service, and some other um, convenience um, methods and services. And just real quick is another example, one example that I didn't demonstrate, but a very typical one is that you want to be able to publish not only to your own activity stream and not only to a community's activity stream, but to an activity stream of another user. And this is in fact also possible. The way it works is that first of all, you need to define a so-called trusted external application. And I've added here my admin, but typically or even my test user Frank Adams, but typically you would create your own dedicated ID that you use here. And once you have done that, you can use these credentials um, 
in, um, in the phases config because in addition to the OAuth um, endpoint there's also um, still, and, and that's the same uh, functionality as in the XPages social enabler, the basic authentication endpoint and this is where you would put the username and password so that the application can access um, the activity streams of other users on behalf of this um, sp uh, special user here. And then again, once you have done that, um, you can easily post to other people's activity streams um, in the same way using the post entry method and pass in the JSON. So I explained two different ways to access REST APIs and XPages applications, the XPages Social Enabler and the IBM Social Business Toolkit SDK. Now our goal is to merge these two efforts back together. Specifically, we would like to provide a new version of the XPages extension library that then will consume the Social SDK. Again, the Social SDK is the general implementation that can also be consumed by web and other types of Java developers. As long as we haven't done that, as long as we haven't merged these two efforts, um, you should be aware of the pros and cons of these two approaches. For example, one advantage of the Social SDK is that it provides the Java APIs to access IBM Connections and IBM Smart Cloud for social business. Another advantage of the SDK is the support for OAuth 2, which is required by IBM Connections 4. And it also supports anonymous users, so users don't have to log in against Domino. There are also advantages of the XPages social enabler, however. For example, the XPages social enabler comes with a persistent web security store that does not exist yet in the social SDK. Another advantage of the social enabler is support for LTPA via the LTPA endpoint bean. And another, yet another advantage of the social enabler is support for specific XPages controls like um, data sources that display the um, list of files from IBM Connections, the user bean and other R XPages artifacts. That's everything I wanted to cover today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.